Hi, I'm Joel. I'm one of the ministers at First Baptist Church in Regina. The fact that COVID-19 has landed right in the middle of Lent has been my mind, and I wanted to share a short reflection drawing on some of the words of Isaiah. Suddenly everybody, no matter their faith background, is being asked to observe Lent in a manner of speaking. It's one of the strictest Lents I've ever been a part of. I've had to have sports taken out of my life, and shopping, and going out with friends. My kids have had their music lessons and sports and clubs and school all cancelled. And we're no longer able to get together in person with people from our church. All sorts of things have been taken out of our lives. We are fasting like we've never fasted before. But that is what Lent is meant to be, a time of fasting, a time of taking things out of our lives and allowing God to add new things in as we are shaped into the image of our Lord Jesus Christ. To understand fasting, we always begin Lent on Ash Wednesday with a reading from Isaiah 58. In it, Isaiah reflects on what, a, what fasting is, is meant to be, what it can be at any rate, when it's put into God's hands. He pleaded with God's people not to treat it like a religious exercise, not just to go through the motions, but rather to recognize that God can use it as a means of changing our way of life for the better. Isaiah looked around him at his nation and his world. He saw evil and injustice, hunger, poverty. He saw crumbling cities. He saw sickness and illness. He saw an abused land. Isaiah could have concluded that God ought to just wipe the slate clean and start all over again. Or Isaiah could have concluded that God ought to whisk away the good people to a paradise and leave the earth to rot. Instead, from centuries away, Isaiah saw God sending Jesus Christ to redeem, to restore, to bring healing, and to transform people and creation. Isaiah saw fasting as God's way of helping us remove habits and behaviors that no longer belong in our lives if we are trying to live in obedience to Jesus, if we are trying to follow Jesus, if we are trying to allow the life that the Holy Spirit brings us to flourish. Isaiah saw fasting as a way of bringing in new habits and new behaviors, ones that are healthier for our spirits, for our neighborhoods, and for our land. And Isaiah saw that these transformed lives can become part of God's work of transforming and renewing cities, communities, and all of creation through Jesus Christ. God has hit pause on our lives. But perhaps it's an opportunity to ask ourselves how we intend to go on living. We are right now doing with much less than we're used to. When things get back to normal, it will be so much better for our world, for, our, for creation, for our communities, if we, continue, can continue, if we can continue to be satisfied with less. We are spending much less money on ourselves these days. When things go back to normal, can we continue to do that and to use our money to be generous and to help the world heal and rebuild? We have a lot more time on our hands these days. Can we use that time to get in touch with one another on a daily basis even? Maybe to set up uh, patterns of being in prayer a couple times a week with, with people that we're close to. We have more time. 
Can we use this time to intentionally build good habits of daily prayer in our mornings and evenings? All of this will come to an end, all this isolation in our lives will be drawn back into the world. We don't know exactly what things are going to look like, what consequences and changes are going to come about, and what kind of world will emerge. When that happens, are we going to rush with relief and release back into the, living the same way that we used to live? Or will we allow this time to create and establish and solidify new and healthier ways of living, drawing closer to others and closer to Jesus in this time? The words of Isaiah. Is this the fast that I choose for just one day that you would humble yourself? Will you call that a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, to let the oppressed go free, to share your bread with the hungry, to bring homeless poor into your house? Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will spring up quickly. You will pray, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and God will say, Here I am, if you remove oppression from among you. If you stop pointing the finger at others and speaking evil, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places, make your bones strong. You will become like a well-watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ruins will be rebuilt. You will raise up foundations for many generations. You will be called repairer of what is broken, the restorer of streets to live in. Loving Heavenly Father, you created us for life with you and life with others and life within creation. Help us to leave behind all that no longer belongs in the new world that is coming and to intentionally build in these days good habits of being in prayer with you and speaking with others and in caring for one another as we are shaped into the image of your Son, in whose name we pray. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. Amen.